Welcome to the 76th Annual Buffalo Funds NEI Division I Men's Basketball National Championship, Kansas City, Missouri Municipal Auditorium. This production is brought to you by the NAIA and New Lion, the NAIA's official video streaming provider. It's game three of the quarterfinals with number one ranked Columbia College, Columbia, Missouri, facing the pilots of LSU Shreveport. Good evening, everyone. This is Mark Miller. Welcome to quarterfinal Saturday for 2013 Buffalo Funds Men NAIA National Championship. Two games are in the books already today. Those two teams have advanced to the Fab Four on Monday night as SAGU. SAGU of Texas. They advanced with an earlier 84 79 win over Montana Western. And Georgetown, Kentucky just defeated Culver Stockton by the score of 86 to 82. Starting line is first of all for Columbia College. Perfect 35 0, number one seed in the tournament will be Devin Griffin, the junior guard, averaging 13.2 points a game, leading the team in assists and steals. Marquette Morrell, 6'6 six six forward, 6'4 six guard Derek Dilworth, Tanner Sutton, and Jordan Dressler has had two double-doubles in the first two games of the tournament for Columbia College, the 6'8 senior forward. So it'll be Griffin, Morrell, Dilworth, Sutton, Dressler for LSU Shreveport, the pilots, Mark Polite. Brandon Davis, Aaron Jones, Rydell Harris, and Jeremy Malone, and we are underway. LSU in their navy blue, gold trim, gold numerals. Columbia College, gray uniforms, blue numerals, blue and white striping down the pack. And we are underway in this quarterfinal match. Tip, not a very good tip by either one of the starting centers here, Malone or Dressler, but the ball is out in front to LSU Shreveport. Man-to-man -man defense here for Columbia College. Pass inside, deflected away. It'll stay with the Pilots. On the attack to the rim, shot no good. And Morrell fighting for the rebound. That can't hang on to it. Georgetown, Kentucky. Check that LSU Shreveport defeated number eight seed Pikeville, Kentucky in the first round. And then knocked out number nine seed Evangel College yesterday to get to this quarterfinal game. They'll have it underneath the basket. Ball knocked away by Griffin. It'll stay with the Pilots. Columbia College, 35-0 on the season. Defeated Oklahoma City. The Stars in the opening round, 68-37. By two in a late comeback over Hope International yesterday, 66-64. We'll have it over the back. That's going to be called on Polite. His first team foul, number one. Big key in the win for LSU Shreveport over Culver Stockton yesterday was the play of Brandon Davis. He had a double-double, scoring 23 points and 17 rebounds. Rodney Milam kept his hot shooting alive as well as he had 20 points, three big threes in the second half. Open three, top of the key, Sutton rings the bell. Tanner Sutton, 41% three-point shooter on the season coming into this game. Drains one, an open shot at the top of the key. We've played a minute. Columbia College up by three. Out front with it is Jones. Milam is a threat whenever he gets it across the half court line. They take it over to Fleet. Fleet does all the work here on the offensive and defensive on the board, scoring the basketball and playing great defense. Possibly their MVP. Pass is going to be stolen by Griffin. What an excellent second half. Last night, coast to coast, and out to Sutton, open three, bingo! Tanner Sutton shakes his right fifth. He runs down the court. Sutton gets off early, he's got six. And Columbia College comes out smoking. They lead it six to nothing. In game two of the evening session, in the last of the quarterfinal games, take a look at that last screen. On the steal, and Griffin goes coast to coast. Dribble drive, kicked it out late. Sutton got his feet squared and knocked it down from deep three to give Columbia College a 6 0 lead. And game two to follow, unseated Mid American Nazarene University of Olathe, Kansas, located about 10 miles south of downtown Kansas City, where we're at now, will look to knock off their third seeded team in the tournament of the championships as they face number two ranked Lindsey Wilson. That game will immediately follow this game. 
six nothing, Columbia College on two threes by Tanner Sutton. In the corner to plate, nice pass inside. We'll have our first foul of the contest on Marquette Morrell, his first for the Cougars, team foul number one. Good timeout by Kyle Blankenship. He drew up that play. Nice pass inside of the screen cut and going to the line to shoot a pair. And right through there is Brandon Davis. Davis, a 68% free throw shooter. He has his first. Second one up and good. Davis has got two and it's four, it's six to two. The 18-15 mark here in the opening half. Griffin who got in foul trouble in the game yesterday and then came back and had great second half of 12 points leading his team to the comeback victory. Morrell nowhere to go, throws it back out to Griffin, 15 on the shot clock, takes it to the left wing. There's Sutton, open three ball. Tanner Sutton feeling it. Sutton's got all nine points, and it's 9-2 Columbia College. Three uncontested shots and buried every one of them. Police to the middle, he's gonna get a traveling violation. Little jump stop, we'll put the rock back on the floor. They're gonna ring him up for a traveling violation. Columbia College three for three, and that's all Tanner Sutton. 0 for two for LSU Shreveport. Two turnovers. We played a little bit more than two minutes, about two and a half minutes in this quarterfinal game. In the corner, Sutton. Rodney Milam jumped out on that baseline. We want Sutton to get his feet set again. There's Dressler, the leading scorer of this team. Goes to work inside, kicks over to Griffin along the baseline. Five on the shot clock. Back out front, Dilworth's jump shot. Leaves a little bit short from the three-point line, and that starts the outlet break. Here comes Milam on the push. Up, and they're gonna call, let's see here. Both referees are gonna look, and they're gonna call a blocking foul. The lead official and the C official both called the foul simultaneously. They both ran to each other to make sure they would get it right. Let's look at that again. Last night in our late game between Lindsey Wilson College and Faulkner University, two officials did not communicate. One called the block, one called the charge on a play in that game, resulted in a double foul. This time they communicated the baseline official, the lead official called the blocking foul. And the free throw is up and good. Foul will go against Tanner Sutton. His first team foul number two, and Milam makes one out of the two free throws. Good communication by the officials. Get the call right, that's the bottom line. In the corner, Dilworth. Morrell goes to work, left hand, and yes! Marquette Morrell, nice little move inside from right hand to left hand. He scores it. And that'll be Mark Polite. That's a big second foul call on Polite. Let's take a look at it. Morrell went up, put it up with his left hand, and Polite will have to take a seat on Kyle Blankenship's bench. Two fouls in the first three minutes and 17 seconds. Second opportunity for Morrell. Shooters touch up the high up the rim, and Morrell's got them both. Three-point conventional play on the drive. Jump shot and nice move inside by Brandon Davis. Davis has four, and it's a 12-5 game. 16-25 left here in the first half of this quarterfinal matchup. Griffin. To Morrell, to Sutton along the baseline, pulls back, open three ball. This one hits right side of the rim, then the ball is stripped by Griffin. Back to Dressler, and they'll reset up their offense with 30 on the shot clock, 16.08 on the game clock. Out front, Griffin, he'll pull the trigger from three, can't get it to go, but it goes off the hand of Rodney Milam. Shot goes up, hands go up. That time Milam was late to get up for the defensive rebound, and ball ricocheted off his right hand. It'll stay with the Cougars from Columbia, Missouri, about three and a half hours from Kansas City. Sutton the right wing, gets it over to Morrell. 
Into Griffin, into Morrell. Morrell goes up with the left hand, can't get it. Dressler, tip try, no good. And Green, Jake Green, who's come in for Polite. And the last dead ball starts the transition. Milan for three, bullseye. Rodney Milan, one of the best shooters in this championship, without a doubt. Had 32 in the opening round win. Came back with 20 in the second round. Milam's got four. There's Dressler. Gets the double team. Matt to Dilwood. Centers the basketball and then to Dressler. He'll go to work there. Jump hook good. Jordan Dressler. Jordan Dressler's on the scoreboard. And it's 14-8 Columbia College. Pull up jump shot. Rattles in. Tip drive by Milam. Still loose on the deck. Green has it. There's Tevin Hall. They're going to get a walking violation on Tevin Hall. That's the third turnover on LSU Shreveport. Columbia College is yet to turn the basketball over. Out front with it is Griffin. Over to Sutton. Back to Griffin. Making the pilots work in this zone. Dilworth in the short corner. Morrell's jump hook won't go. Ripping down the rebound is Brandon Davis, and that's what he does. 12.4 rebounds a game coming into this game, leading the club in rebounds. Three ball won't go. Fight for the board, and Griffin takes away from Green. Griffin will take it out and transition. Spreads the court. Back out to Sutton. Over to Griffin. Goes to the basket. Bounce pass in the corner to Dilworth. There's Sutton to the top of the key. Dressler hit, shoot the ball from three. There goes Griffin along the baseline. Morrell up draws the foul. Nice interior passing by Columbia College. Got Morrell a shot inside. He go to the line to shoot a pair, and the foul will go against Jeremy Malone. His first. Team foul number three. Morrell's free throw leaves it short. Let's take a look at that. Bob Richard's got to like where his team is getting the ball inside against this zone. Now that you just take advantage of it at the free throw line, Morrell missed the first one, the 55% free throw shooter. Second one up. Can't get it, but then tipped out by Dressler, but then the pass is stolen. And I'll have a stoppage of play to reset the game clock. It's 14-11. No, looks like they may reset the shot clock. So Morrell misses both free throw opportunities. And LSU Sweetport has a chance to cut into this 14-8 lead. Out front with it is Davis. Hands it off to Milam. On the dribble drive, to the paint, to the rim. Yes! Rodney Milam. He's got six. Milan gets cooking early. Get your calculator out. He's going to have a bunch. Said 32 in the opening round, 20 last night, averaging 26 points a game in the championships thus far. Pep Stancil's in the game at point guard. He's got on the left wing to Dilworth. Deep corner three ball, no good. And Milan has the rebound. LSU Shreveport trails at 14 to 10. Here goes Davis, they're going to get him for an offensive foul. Morrell was there sliding his feet, got set, draws the offensive foul on Davis. His first, team foul number four, and let's take a look at it. From the right wing, crossover, and Morrell was able to get there, get planted, and draws the player control foul. Here comes Stansel, back out to Sutton. The left wing to Dilworth, looking to get the ball to Sutton, Sutton in the corner. There's Dressler, going to work, double team. Dressler goes up, shot up, great touch. Great touch from the six foot eight power forward. Jordan Dressler, 63% from the field. With that kind of touch, you know why. 16 to 10, pass inside, shot up, no good by Jones. Dressler was there to rearrange that shot attempt. Sutton's got it on the left wing, back out to Stancil. Played some valuable minutes in the second round win for LSU Shreveport. A 
as they defeated number nine, Evangel. Ball loose in the corner. Dressler's got it. Goes to work. Out to Stanson. Crossover. Kicks it to Dilworth. 11, 10 the shot clock. 12.25 in the game clock. Stansel top of the key. Six, five. We'll count it down with you. And Stansel then loses the basketball. So Columbia Collies wouldn't even able to get a shot off in that offensive possession. 16-10 left. Quarterfinal action. Good evening, everybody. Mark Miller at Historic Municipal Auditorium. Glad you're with us. Milam for three off the left side of the rim. Running down the rebound is Brock Walker. He's just checked in the game. Walker gives it over to Stansel. The Cougars undefeated, trying to run the table. Only two teams in NAIA history have done that. The last to do it was Oklahoma City. Jump shot up, good. Brock Walker. Walker's got two, a 47% field goal shooter, and that was a wide open 15-footer. Chris Jones back over to Green. Again, Mark Polite went to the bench with his second foul about three minutes ago. Back door, Dressler blocks the shot from behind. Hall looked like he had, had beat his man on the back door cut, but the help side defense, Dressler with the left hand knocked it away. There's Walker into the corner to Sutton. Gonna run it around the perimeter. There's Dilworth. No hurry here. 14, 13. There goes Stansel to the basket to the rim. Yes! Pep Stansel, that one, that's what he does. Stansel on the dribble drive. Getting the penetration through it off the right side of the backboard. Count it, and then we'll have a foul. Looks like on the floor. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the play underneath the basket. There's Green, the backdoor cut, and coming out of nowhere was Jordan Dressler. Dressler will come out of the lineup. But a good defensive play by the six foot eight senior power forward for the Cougars. 20 to 10. On the drive, off the glass, and yes. Brandon Davis. Brandon Davis has got six. Rodney Milam has six. Those two players have all 12 points here for LSU Shreveport. Zach Rockers has checked in the lineup for the Cougars. Open jump shot in the right wing. Won't go by Wendell Crowder. And the ball goes out of bounds along the baseline. We'll go back over to LSU Shreveport. Maybe not the shot that Bob Richard, who was just named the NABC NAIA Coach of the Year, really wanted. Early in the shot, clock. And Crowder looked for the shot. Here comes Tevin Hall. LSU Shreveport going right to left. Hall thought about the three. Good crowd on hand here at Municipal Auditorium. Pull up jump shot from the left wing. Nothing but the backboard. Tip try no good. And Marquette Morrell is back in the game. Gets the defensive rebound. Off to Stansel. He walks it across the timeline. 10 to go in the first half. 20 to 12, Columbia College. Trying to get a date into the semifinals. Winner of this game plays Georgetown, Kentucky. 8 o'clock Monday night. Going to work inside, nice rejection there on the defensive play. That looked like Milam got a hand on that. Over to Hall, to Milam on the left wing. Morrell had a good looking shot, but Milam had a better defensive play. Mark Polite's in the game. Coming back in, playing with two fouls, one and done. Rebounded by Walker, that starts transition. Pull up three ball from the left wing, won't go for Rockers. Fight on the board, Crowder gets it back and puts it up and in. Wendell Crowder on the offensive Crowder. stick back in Columbia College. Expands their lead to 22 to 12 as we go to break. Timeout in the court, 9 14 to play in the first half. Columbia College leads LSU Shreveport 22 to 12. More after this timeout. Slam dunk competition. We have Haley and Daniel. They get one dunk. One dunk. Let's 
14 left here in the first half. The number one seed, Columbia College, leads LSU Shreveport 22 to 12. Mark Miller here at Municipal Auditorium. Quarterfinal Saturday. Three teams of four teams will go. Two teams have already been and punched their ticket. Georgetown, Kentucky, and Sagu, S-A-G-U, Texas. They'll be playing on Monday night. Milam goes inside. The ball was last touched by Columbia College. I think the Cougars thought it went off the knee of Milam, but it will stay with LSU Shreveport. Let's take another look at it. On the drive by Milam to the basket up and a little block there a little bit by Brock Walker. Polite goes to the basket up and good. Polite's on the scoreboard. Only the third player other than Davis and Milam to score here for LSU Shreveport in the first half, and it's an eight-point game. Morrell to the basket, up and under. Good move, Marquette Morrell. It's always an unsung hero that coaches depend upon. Maybe a four-point score that has a, has a double-digit game or something. Marquette Morrell is having that kind of game. He's got five. Tanner Sutton with three threes. Another unsung hero here. 24-14, pass inside and going to work. Brandon Davis, he's got eight. This is your consistency here for Davis. Davis has got eight. Early jump shot, three ball won't go. Loose on the deck and they're gonna get a reach in foul on Brock Walker, his first. That'll be team foul number three on Columbia. The 7.57 mark. Dresser will check back in, replacing Brock Walker. Up front with his Milam, picked up by Crowder. Over to Jones, back to Milam. 15 in the shot clock, Milam goes to work, gets the ball stripped inside, dribbled inside into traffic, and lost control of the basketball. Another turnover. Uh, on LSU Shreveport. Half run with it is Pep Stansel. Gets away from the double team. Extra pass there to Dressler. Double team in the corner. Out front. Three ball on the way. And Crowder buries it. Crowder, 35% shooter from beyond the arc. 4-3 of the after of the evening. And a pull up shot goes to Jones. Finish the thought, fourth three-pointer of the evening for Columbia College. They're four for 11. 27-18, 6.50 to go before halftime. Here goes Morrell. Morrell right to the basket, up and good. I think right now the interior defense is so aware of Dressler, Morrell is getting just some unbelievable looks. He's got seven, running one-hander, Brandon Davis. He's in the double figures at 10. All right, now Columbia College, the Cougars do not have an answer for Brandon Davis. But on defense, the pilots need to know where Morrell is. Out to the corner, open three, no good. Dressler gets the rebound, then tips it out, but his tip out. Try to save it goes out of bounds. The way the pilot's defense is focused on inside the inside game with Dressler, Sutton is getting ready to check back in the game, and Crowder are going to get some wide open threes. And also Morrell, with his seven points, has been the beneficiary of being able to get the ball in the paint and take it to the basket. A little bit of a gamble here for the pilots. 
because they need to know where Dressler is inside. They've held Dressler thus far to just four points, but Sutton's got nine and Morell has got seven. Green in the corner to Davis. Jab step, fadeaway jump shot, rattles in and out, and on the rebound is Brock Walker. Hands it off to Pep Stansel. 5.45 left here in the first half. Over to Stansel, top of the key. They'll give Stansel that shot. Dribble drive, back out to Dressler. Pull up jump shot, hits the side of the rim. Fight for the board and running it down, then drawing the foul will be Brock Walker. Walker, nice hustle play there. And if that's going to be on Polite, that's going to be his third foul. Tough way to get it. On Mark Polite, that is his third. Let's take a look at that. Those 50-50 balls are critical. See the shot goes out to the far wing. Two players going for it. And Rockers is able to outrun or check that. Walker's able to get to the basketball and then Polite has the foul. That's three on Polite with 5.30 to go here in the opening half. That's big news right now in this basketball game. 29-20, Cougars by nine. Inside to Walker. Back out to Griffin, who's checked back in for Pep Stansel. Dressler posts up in the lower block, pass deflected. Nice play there by Green. On the push, shot won't go, and we'll have a foul. Jake Green was able to get his left hand up and deflect that pass. It started transition. And in transition, Griffin gets the foul for Columbia, his first team foul number four. And going to the line to shoot a pair will be Rodney Milam. Milam rattles it in. An 86% free throw shooter, he's got seven. Milam's got them both. LSU Shreveport, eight for 19 from the field, one for four from the arc, five for six to the line. Columbia College shooting 50%, 12 for 24, four for 12 from the arc, just one for three at the line. Front with it is Walker. The Griffin, drive won't go, tip try no good, and Aaron Jones gets the loose ball up to Davis. Pick up the pilots on the attack. Kicks it over to Green. Three ball, up, go. Jake Green, deep three on a great pass and kick out pass from Davis. And LSU Shreveport have fought back and they now trail 29-25. They're on a 6-0 run. Let's take a look at that last drive. Drawing the defense to him was Davis. And in the fast break, the key to a fast break, if you don't have the ball coming down the middle of the court, get wide. And I mean free throw extended, free throw line extended wide. That's what Green did. He's a shooter. Davis knew that. Drew the defense to him, kicked it out, and Green buried the three. Well, the NAIA Champions of Character program helps students understand and embody what character truly means. It also provides student athletes, coaches, and parents the training to know, do, and value the right thing, both inside and outside of sports. Learn more at championsofcharacter.org. Mark Miller with you, 440 left here in the first half. Third game of quarterfinal Saturday at the 2013 Buffalo Funds NAIA National Championship. Dressler's got it. Back to the basket, turns that right shoulder. Wings it out to Griffin. Over to Dilworth, open three, and Dilworth leaves it short. And on the rebound, here comes Davis. Davis on the push, kicks it again. Milam open three, and this one hits the front of the lip. And rebounded by Dilworth. Almost had the same play we had the last time down as Davis went to the basket. This time Milam missed an open three, and that didn't happen very often. Griffin looking the entry pass into Dressler. Dressler gonna go to work there, ball fake. And he's gonna get a jump ball. Rule number one, post player, keep the ball above your shoulders. Dressler dropped and he got tied up. Possession arrow will favor Columbia College. Dressler throw it in underneath the basket. Mark Morrell, Marquette Morrell, back in the lineup for Columbia College. After Griffin, thought about a three. 
In the corner to Dilworth, there's Morrell, back to Griffin. Entry pass, double pass inside, up and scoring it. Wrestler's money for there, and Marquette Morrell makes the nice extra pass. Wrestler's got six, 31-25. Front with it is Davis. 3.30 to play here in the opening half. To the basket, shot won't go, but drawing the foul on Dressler will be Brandon Davis. That's Dressler's first. Team foul number five on Columbia College, and Davis back to the free throw line. Earlier today, SAGU, S-A-G-U, and they go